Uh, from fox5ny.com, police to New Jersey gym that opened in defiance of order. Have a good day. This is great civil disobedience, even in the statist stronghold of New Jersey. A gym in southern New Jersey has reopened for business in defiance of state orders that shut down non-essential businesses to help stem the spread of the coronavirus. Another lie from the mainstream media. No, that's not why they had the state shutdown order in place. As we know now, it was to consolidate wealth and power to force an unemployment crisis on us. People began gathering outside of the Attilus gym in Belmar several hours before it opened at 8 a.m. on Monday. Around 10.30 a.m., local police officers approached the door through the crowd to speak with the gym's owners. The officers informed them that they were formally in violation of the shutdown order. We are and only were here for everybody's safety today. We plan for the worst and hope for the best, and it seems like that's what we have out here today. The officer said, to the owners and surrounding crowd. And I love this, to see cops surrounded, like they went there to say, let them know. And the, oh yeah, formally you are all in violation of the executive order. On that note, have a good day, everybody be safe. This, before the crowd erupted in cheers, the owners have said the decision to resume operations at the members only facility was not about financial gain, but rather a question of constitutional rights. So they still had to have the cops go out and, you know, like, well, 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 as long as you kiss the ring and go, oh shit, you have, you have a lot of people here. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine what would have really happened if the cops had gone through with the most statist version of, of their interaction there? Said, oh, we're going to cite you and we're going to take, we're going to force this crowd to disperse. This crowd of meatheads in revolt. As the gym owner said in an interview with Tucker Carlson, we think so far this has been just a gross violation of our constitutional rights. The 14th Amendment states that no state shall pass any law that infringes upon our rights as citizens, and we've been forced into our homes. Enough is enough. What a beautiful victory for the meathead revolt. They cannot keep us down. And if it's gym owners and gym goers and Christians on Easter Sunday and people on paddle boards and surfers and parents in their parks, Civil disobedience will win the day. And now the Meathead Revolt has scored an epic victory in New Jersey, leading the revolt of civil disobedience activists all over America. Such a beautiful thing to see. We will win. Civil disobedience will carry the day in the coronaphobia crisis. Take heed. These are suppressed stories that are being censored by the mainstream media. They do not want you to do anything that questions the official guidance, even on social media. Share these stories. Keep them in your hearts and in your minds and know that you are not alone standing up to this tyranny. And together, we are winning.